Good morning, everyone. This is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101, our regular series of short Goldmine presentations focusing on different aspects of Goldmine. And this morning, I'm going to cover your email inbox in Goldmine and tips for managing uh, your incoming messages. Now, this presentation will be about quarter of an hour or so in duration, so it's just an overview of this capability. It's not meant to be in-depth training. Uh, we offer at Wizard Systems many extensive uh, training options and courses around um, emailing and, and any aspect of Goldmine. Now on the call today we've got people using all sorts of different versions of Goldmine. Uh, I'll be showing you the latest version in my demo, um, but pretty much everything I mentioned is, is relevant to all current uh, releases out there. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Probably best to type them in as you think of them, rather than uh, um, a mass rush at the end. Uh, also, uh, at the end of the call, I'll give you an update on any Goldmine product news. This session is being recorded, by the way. After the presentation, you'll get an email. Uh, from our system with a linked recording that you can obviously play back when you want to and will most likely pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. As I normally do, very brief mention about Wizard Systems. We're a long established reseller of CRM and Goldmine Systems. We have implemented well over 3,000 systems all over the UK and further afield. And we offer a total service around Goldmine, any kind of service you need, assistance, support, help. Uh, we've got it as regards uh, implementation, setting up Goldmine, performing upgrades, doing training, uh, integrating Goldmine to other applications. We do supply a, a wide range, maybe about a dozen or so popular add-on products to Goldmine that extend its functionality, things that Goldmine doesn't do. Invariably, there, invariably there's an add-on to Goldmine out there. And finally, ongoing technical support with our help desk as well. So your email inbox, whether it be in Goldmine or Outlook, of course, uh, we do have email integration with Outlook included as standard with Goldmine, all included in the price. How do you stay on top of things? Of course, if you're using Outlook as your primary email tool, you can categorize messages, you can set follow-ups, but if the email is in Goldmine, what choices do you have? So let me just pop over to my demo system and my inbox in Goldmine. Uh, this is this is a demonstration system, so wouldn't it be nice to have as few emails as you see here? Uh, but this is a demonstration system. So this is your Goldmine email inbox and top left corner. Nice visual indication there to see what numbers are involved here. Um, this being a demonstration system, I've only got three messages, and it's saying that two are unread out of the three. So of of course. Um, we can see all our emails in there um, visually in the top part of the screen and the bottom part of this uh, preview window. We've got a, the, the first few lines of that message as well. If you right click over your inbox, there are a few options to try and make more sense and help you manage things um, to start off with. First of all, there's summary, which will just give you a basic count of the of course, the number of messages involved. If I right-click again, we've got group. Now, this allows you to group and sort by any of the columns that you see in the top half of the screen. So an obvious one might be the column red. Have I read these emails or not? So I just drag that into the top left corner there. I can quickly now see all of my um, unread emails and read emails. Let me just... Uh, remove that grouping. And then finally, when I right click, I've got that filtering option, which allows you to filter on any of these options here. So I could click over into date and do some kind of 
custom date searching as well by that column. So a few little things there when you right click over your emails. Now, uh, again, right clicking to get rid of emails, well, there is the fast file option. This will immediately put these emails into the history in Goldmine, the history tab of that contact record. Um, particularly useful if the message needs no further response. The other option you've got here is file it. A few more options here. So when you're filing this message, um, first of all, by default, this is again going to go in history, but you could say, well, I want to delete it or I want to keep it still in my inbox. A few options there. Before completing, what do you want to do to this email? Well, maybe you want to forward it to another person or maybe one of your colleagues or reply um, to that sender. And then the other useful option is down in the bottom left-hand corner here to schedule some kind of follow-up uh, action. So in a way to, uh, as a way to try and keep your inbox pruned down and uh, as, as, uh, as small as possible, you can then, as you're filing these uh, emails, you can then set up alternate tasks for you and your colleagues to do something against that email. Many, maybe many of the emails coming into your company require some kind of action or task, and that's really what Goldmine is all about, using the activity list, using your task list in Goldmine to help you manage your working day. So we're putting the email to bed, and we're, that we're then creating a more appropriate type of action for yourself or one of your colleagues to do something to that contact and maybe carrying forward um, aspects of the email message as well. So a nice option there to file it and, and do something extra on, on, top of the, on top of that action. You can also multi-select these emails as well. So holding down the control key and then clicking on the email you can multi-select these emails and then obviously whatever option you do there will, will be carried out against all those selected emails. The other tool that you've got in Goldmine to help you manage these emails, quite a nice tool and, and not often used um, in our experiences, is, is our email rules. So if I just pop into those, we have featured this on, on one of our um, Tuesday sessions. So just click into options here and go to set up email rules. So with, with these email rules, these are this is a, a capability of Goldmine to manage incoming emails and also the flip side of that, outgoing emails. So imagine emails that are coming into your Goldmine system, coming into your company. You can set up rules to allow them to be automatically handled in some way or fashion. So here is an example of a rule I've created earlier. Um, basically, this email rule center on the left-hand side, we've got a, a diagram, graphical image, showing us the different rules that we've got running at the moment and the different conditions and actions it's looking for. So here's an example of a rule where if the subject of an email contains new lead, it's going to be automatically forwarded to a colleague called Jane. And then a couple of more actions after it, I'll mark it as read and I'll file it. It's going to go into, uh, into Goldmine history as well. So there's quite a few options that you've got here as regards these conditions for managing and, and what things the email rule needs to look for. So for example, these are all of the fields, these are all of the areas that the, um, the, the, the Goldman email rule can be looking at, and then the actual condition, and then the value that you're looking for within that field. And then if that condition is true, what action will take place? Well, again, you've got a number of different choices here. So what I'm showing here is not an in-depth uh, um, covering of uh, the email rule feature, but just to just to um, show you in a very brief way that, that there, there is this powerful capability within Goldmine that isn't often used 
um, and maybe should be used a lot more, particularly if your emails are coming into Goldmine and you want to have an automatic way of handling them and a potential way of deflecting common emails or emails where there's a specific process for dealing with them. You know, safe and large, that 24-7, these email rules there, the monitoring is as soon as an email comes in, the action will take place if the condition uh, is true. So a, a few tools there to help you stay on top of your emails. Um, as you can see, right-clicking over something does give you a, a load more options there as well. So I'd now like to open out to any questions that um, you have, please. So please uh, pop those into your question section on your meeting control panel. And I'll do my best to answer. So first question from Darren, can you have an out of office rule for emails? Yes, you can. You might have seen it there on my demonstration system, but it might be more effective to actually have that out of office, um, the, the automatic message going to going to this going back to the sender um, defined or set up in your email server on your email server because you may not be logged into Goldmine. Um, that rule, it, you, it, it may not, if it's a personal rule to you, it may not be kicking into action if you're not um, personally logged into Goldmine, Darren. So it might be more effective and, and more instantaneous to have it applied at the email server level. Um, next question from Vincent, what will be in the next release of Goldmine? Uh, we don't know for sure what will be in the next major release of Goldmine. The current release is 2016.1. The next major release will be 2016.2. Um, there are hot fixes that come out every month. More on those um, in a second or two. So, uh, Vincent, we don't know right now. It's likely to be more in the web access, mobile access area. Um, but stay tuned, we'll no doubt nearer the time, uh, near the release of these uh, versions, we'll be um, arranging another short presentation for you. Uh, next question from Karen, will Goldmine email be enhanced in future versions? Um, unlikely with the Windows interface that I've shown you here, but I've alluded to the web access to Goldmine in the past and um, way of accessing Goldmine via your phone, that's the key area where um, you'll have more options for sure uh, for handling your emails when you're when you're mobile and through a different interface. Uh, another question from Darren, how many people actually use Outlook as opposed to Goldmine for emails? Well, that's a good question. And Goldmine, remember, Goldmine is probably the only CRM system out there that does have its own fully fledged uh, email system for managing your incoming and outgoing emails. Um, most other CRM systems rely on some kind of link or integration to Outlook or Goldmine. Um, in answer to your question, I would say probably about a third of our customers use Goldmine exclusively, exclusively for managing their emails. Um, not everyone manages their emails in their CRM systems, unusually, um, but for whatever reason, not, not everyone is managing emails. And I suppose Remainder are using Outlook or, or maybe some other email system, Gmail as well. There are options for linking um, Gmail, Google Mail to Goldmine as well. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through there. So thanks very much um, for those questions. Uh, just to bring you up to date, with um, Goldmine News. We do have a Goldmine training course next week on Wednesday. This is an advanced training course covering more advanced power options in Goldmine filtering, reporting, opportunity management, uh, more advanced things. Uh, please contact us for details and uh, pricing on that. We are expecting the sixth hotfix of the current version of Goldmine 2016.1. Um, on the 8th of December. It's normally the first Thursday of every month. As I say, we are uh, also expecting the next major release of Goldmine, which will be 2016.2 in February next year. As always, please email me. If you, if you can think of any 
hot topic around gold mine that you would like me to discuss in this way with um, fellow gold mine users, please email me any ideas on suggestions, tim at wizard-systems.com. Um, but we look forward to your attendance. Uh, we hopefully will be running one next week. But thanks very much for your time this morning. And watch out for a link to that uh, recording there. Thanks very much indeed.